As an interactive or web designer or a web application developer, you're working hard to stay on top of evolving technologies. You're trying to find new ways to collaborate in work groups. And now, more than ever, you need to measure the impact and value of the work that you create. Well, with CS5, you get a comprehensive set of Flash tools, the ability to share assets across products and to design without writing any code. And with the recent addition of Omniture, you'll be able to integrate analytics, tracking, and reporting. So let's take a look at what's hot in the CS5 Web Premium Suite. Hi, I'm Greg Ruiz, Principal Evangelist for Creative Suite Web Premium at Adobe. I would really love to show you every new feature in CS5 Web Premium, but I just don't have time. So what I want to do is focus in on five things that are really going to change the way that you work in CS5. Let's start with Flash Professional CS5. You'll notice that I have some text boxes here that are independent. So if the client makes a change, which they do, I'm going to have to do a lot of copying and pasting between these text boxes, but no longer. You see, with TLF, I can simply take these text boxes and begin to link them together. And now if the client needs a change and we want to shorten one of the text boxes, you can see that the text actually begins to flow between those individual boxes. Now this is great and it works not only with Roman language text because we now support full vertical text as well as right to left text like Japanese. Now the second thing I want to talk about is the improvements we've made in Flash Professional CS5 to its coding environment. And now right here within Flash Professional CS5, I can simply click to tell Flash I would like to actually do my editing over there in Flash Builder 4. And Flash will hand off the code to Flash Builder, even creating a project if it needs to. And when we're ready to package things up, I can also click a button right here in Flash Builder and that will take me back over to Flash Professional where I can do my export. And of course, I'm not just exporting for the web anymore. I'm exporting for a variety of screens, including one very popular one out there right now, the iPhone. Using the packager for iPhone that's included with Flash Professional CS5, I can set up my application to be turned into a native iPhone application and distributed via the App Store. Oh, and don't forget, for those that may not want to code as much, Flash Catalyst is also part of CS5 Web Premium, so I can take all of my designs from Photoshop, like I've got here, or Illustrator, and I can move those interfaces into Flash Catalyst and do it all without coding. Speaking of Photoshop, that's the third thing that I want to talk to you about. Now, there's a lot of great new features for web designers in Photoshop CS5, but one really jumps out at me. I mean, literally. It's called Reposé. You can see I have some text and images here that I want to give a little bit more pop to. And with a single click of a button, I can turn them into a real 3D object. And you can see I can move them around, I can change the depth, I can change the scaling, and of course I have full control over textures and lighting, and all without knowing 3D. And when it's time to take our design to the web, that of course means Dreamweaver. And that's the fourth thing that I want to talk to you about. The way that Dreamweaver CS5 is embracing the change happening on the web today. In fact, I have a page open right now here within Dreamweaver, and it doesn't look too exciting because this page is actually built by a content management system. There are many more pages that are needed in order to bring this all together as we would see it in the browser. But Dreamweaver knows this, and I can simply click my Discover button and have Dreamweaver go follow all of those dynamic links and show me all of the pages that are going to be needed to show me this actual page in the browser. And I can see that too, right here in Dreamweaver CS5 with our new enhanced live view. When I click the live view button, this tells Dreamweaver to bounce all those pages off of the server and bring them back, displaying exactly the way that they're going to look inside of the browser. That means I can actually click on a link using our new follow links command and actually see the different state in which this page actually is going to appear. And when I'm happy with this, of course, the big challenge for everybody is knowing if the page looks right in my targeted browsers. And that brings me to number five, Browser Lab. Browser Lab is a part of CS Live, our new online services, and Dreamweaver CS5 integrates directly with that. I can go to my Browser Lab panel, click my preview button, and that's going to take me directly over to Browser Lab. Now you can see that I'm currently looking at it in Safari on a Mac. Let's check it out in some other browsers. For example, in Chrome on the Windows platform. Okay, or perhaps in Internet Explorer 8. Oh, looking good. And I can even compare these two side by side. 
so I can put them up and see exactly the differences between the pages. And if I really want to drill down, I can use our new onion skin view that allows me to lay them on top of each other so I can see those subtle differences between the way that the browsers are rendering this page. And finally, with our new Omniture integration, web designers can begin to test and analyze the effectiveness of their online content. So as you can see, we've only begun to scratch the surface with all the great new features in CS5 Web Premium. To learn more, I'd encourage you to go to adobe.com or visit me on Adobe TV.